Hallelujah. When we open up our Bibles to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15, it reads there, But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God, or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. You see, in the book of Deuteronomy, in the Old Testament, we read about how God says, you obey, I will bless you. You obey and I will let these blessings overtake you. Disobedience would bring about a curse that would come upon one's life, not just upon their life, but would overtake them. But the beauty for us today in the New Testament is all those curses that were supposed to be upon our lives. You know, when you turn to Galatians chapter 3 verse 13, it says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. You know, Jesus paid the price that you and I were supposed to pay. Jesus did or took upon him all that was supposed to be upon our lives. So now today when we come into the saving knowledge of Jesus, when we come into a relationship with Jesus, all that was due to us, he has taken upon himself. And that's why we can live a blessed life today. You know, we need to come to the realization that Jesus died so that you could enjoy life. So that you could live a blessed life. So that you could have abundant life. In the Old Testament it clearly says that these curses will overtake you. These curses will destroy you. And when you look at the list of curses, they are terrible I tell you. But the beauty and the good news is we have been set free. You know when we say Jesus redeemed us, that means he paid the price for us. We were supposed to pay that price. We were supposed to pay every debt back because of our disobedience. But Jesus paid it all. And that's why I want to encourage you. Don't live a life that is defeated. You are not called to live a defeated life. You are not called to live a sulking life. You are not called to live a depressed life. You are not called to live a life of barrenness. You are called to live a blessed life. The moment you move, you move into a relationship with Jesus, you move into a blessed life. The moment you begin to connect with God, the moment you begin to have a deep intimate fellowship with God, you move into a blessed life. Let me say that again. Jesus paid the price for you. He redeemed you from the curse of the law by becoming a curse or by taking the curse upon himself. Jesus has set us free. And that's why I want to tell you, live in that freedom, live in that blessed life. You know, when you look into scriptures, when you look at the word blessed, it's not something that you are going to receive, but it is a phase or it is a lifestyle we are called to live in the now. I want to challenge you today. Let's not turn back to a defeated life, but let us live a life that Jesus paid a big price for, a life of abundance, a life fulfilled in him. He has done it all for you. God bless you.